Hello, I'd like to introduce one kind of Korean traditional rice punch called andongsikhe. Andongsikhe is fermented beverage made of glutinous steamed rice, fine hot pepper powder, chopped radish and chopped ginger dipped into the malt water. Thus is also called British rice punch. The sweetness of punch, the spicy taste of radish, ginger and hot pepper powder harmonize together to make a little bit thick and characteristic zippy tang. This beverage is a winter regional food in Andong area of Gyeongsang province which is provided to guests on traditional holidays such as Thanksgiving and New Year's Day since this is a good for congestion relief as well as liver protection and detoxification. Ingredients of Andong Shike are as follows. Glutinous rice, 3 kg, malt, 800 grams, ginger, 700 grams, sugar, 100 grams, hot pepper powder, 100 to 150 grams, 2 radish, and 20 liter of water. Procedure Clean the glutinous rice and temper in water for 24 hours. Temper malt in warm water, sieve using a net to get clean malt water on top. Chop the radish into small squares, grind the ginger. Cautions After the preparation procedure, steam the glutinous rice. Steam well so the rice can be cooked enough. Preparation of clean malt water Temper malt in warm water, rub with hand and places them onto the fine net. Squeeze the malt over the net to get clean malt water. Pour the malt water into a big bucket and stay still for 2 hours. Then, pure malt water float over the top of malt residues. Preparation of hard steamed glutinous rice This is the process of preparing hard steamed glutinous rice which will be placed into the punch. 24 hours enough tempered glutinous rice should be steamed well on the hemp cloth in the steamer. The point to be cautious in the procedure is that the steam should be enough to make the good hard steam glutinous rice. Preparation of Radish Chop the radish into small squared pieces. Place the chopped radish, steamed glutinous rice, and malt water into a big bucket and mix them well. You're watching the simple procedure using small amount of ingredients. Mix the well-steamed glutinous rice with chopped radish and pour the clean malt water. During the actual procedure, mix the whole prepared ingredients. Next step is making color and adding scent and taste into the prepared rice punch. Prepare hot pepper powder, ginger, and fine net pouch. Place the pepper powder in the net pouch and close well. Place the chopped ginger into another net pouch and close well as well. Dip the pepper powder pouch into the bucket containing the rice punch and rub it inside to make the red color permeate into the punch and then place the ginger pouch into the punch to make the scent permeate into this time. Remove the pepper powder pouch right after making the color but leave the ginger pouch into the punch for a while until this gets fermented for stronger scent. Add 
sugar for adding sweet taste. It is better to use natural sugar, such as zero fruit sugar, for your health. Fermentation process. The last step is the fermentation process when all the ingredients are mixed together. Place the bucket containing the punch on the warm place and cover it with blankets. If it's placed in warm temperature for 5 to 7 hours, steamed glutinous rice floats on top of punch and bubbles are appeared. Then the fermentation process is completed. After the fermentation, cool it down and keep it in the fridge or in the cold place. To enjoy andong shike better, you can add more sugar to make it sweeter, or you can also add some nuts on top, such as pine nuts or peanuts. So far, the procedure of making one of Korean traditional beverage called andong shike was introduced. Thank you for watching.